Hey y'all. I look so shiny. Just stepping in to say hello. Um today's Shania's birthday. She turned 11. But we celebrated her birthday yesterday. So it's really just been a lazy day. Like literally, literally a lazy day. I even fell asleep while sitting on, in the kitchen, at the kitchen table. My 14 year old daughter had came in, Makaya, and she was like, Ma, Ma, can I have some, can I have some cake? I'm like, huh? Can I have some cake? I'm like, huh? Why are you waking me up? She said, why are you sleeping in the kitchen? <laughs> like, it feel like a Sunday. No, I think that's gray hair, y'all. It's aggravating me. Yeah, it's gray hair. I think. Yeah, that's gray hair. I be thinking that it's, <laughs> it's lit, but it's gray hair. Um, I got little bunches, like, in certain spots. Well... I ain't really been doing nothing. I just been um cleaning more than anything. My hair is just up in a ponytail, y'all. Look at this. But I just been cleaning more than anything. Um today is the first day I, I really didn't even clean that much. I I did disinfect the kitchen. Um, wipe down the bathrooms and did laundry, but I didn't like deep clean anything. But this is more just like a check in. Um, I know y'all always want to see my hair, so I'm gonna just put it down while I talk. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of happy that we had this, this, uh, pandemic time like i'm not happy of all the deaths of course and what's going on and how people not listening but i'm saying like I, ha I actually had time to actually think about life and to not take everything serious you know i don't even know how i got this in my head y'all i really don't um not how to take everything serious um and just I don't know, try to be grateful for the things that, um, <sighs> that I have in my life, but also not let it hurt me that, you know, the people that I wish was close to me and wish I had a bond with is not in my life. I mean, things happen and that's just how it is. But, um, uh, I don't know. I just, I just be so like irritated because, okay, I've been with my husband for almost 20 years and six, in like six months, it will be 20 years, right? So I've seen his family. I've seen him and his family interact pretty well. And they're not perfect. They have disagreements. They argue. Stuff get heated. I mean, heated. Even with his mom, you know. He had, he had heated, you know, situations out of the um, almost 20 years we've been together. But his mother never, ever, 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 ever abandoned him. Like, she always, she always, even if they get into an argument, she always there, like, I love you. Do y'all need anything? Just like, okay, just like the birthday thing. It don't matter what's going on. It don't matter what's going on. Um, We gonna get a birthday cake every year. We're going to get a phone call every year. 
even though she called mostly every day or every other day or whatever just to make sure we good over here but she showed love like to her grandkids to to her son to 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 me and a lot of people would be like oh she's just showing love because you married don't let it fool you it doesn't matter like okay it's still been almost 20 years and she still haven't walked away or abandoned him, even if it's just about him. Like, I think all parents should be like that, but it's not like that. But I'm still grateful of the situation of the, um, I'm still grateful of the situation I'm in because We've been, even though we have our ups and downs, we've been married for almost 20 years. We got four beautiful children together. Well, five beautiful children together. Um, and we are able to, to be okay. If we need help, if nobody in this world will help us, of course, I believe in God, so of course my higher power is gonna make sure we okay regardless. But my mother-in-law, she will give her last to make sure we okay. She, if 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 she only got one more meal in her house, trust me, and we hungry over here, that meal's coming over here. Like, and it used I used to I used to have that feeling. When my grandmother was alive. But when my grandmother passed away when I was 16 years old. Everybody just went their several ways. And that's something I know for a fact that my grandmother did not want to happen. No matter if we went our separate ways and went to different states. she, she My grandmother worked hard to make sure that her family was was one unit. But I'm grateful that I get to still experience it, you know, through my husband. I get to experience it. I get to I get to get that feeling of how my grandmother was with us because it doesn't matter what's going on in his in his life. They don't turn their back on him. I mean, I'm not saying that I have a bad family. I am a loner. I'm a loner. Like, I stay to myself or whatever. But at the end of the day, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and my brother-in-law's they tell me in a minute, Marlena, that's not healthy. We coming to get you. Marlena, that's not healthy. You, We going out. Marlena, that's not healthy. We coming to sit with you. Uh-uh, come on, do this. Uh-uh, what you doing? You know, checking on me and stuff like that. Like, that's not even my blood. And people will say, well, you just with, you, you just getting that because you with him. It doesn't matter. It's still the fact that his family is the way uh, his family is. And I and it hurts my heart that it's people out here that crave for that love and that attention. And they can't get it. Their family make them feel like they nothing. Their family make them feel like they, they less than. But before... Before I leave this earth, I really want to write a life story. I want to write my life story. I'm not famous, but my life story is kind of interesting. And I'm healthy. But I just feel as though if something was to happen to me, I if I get sick, God forbid... I wouldn't want my family to come around me like that. They don't come around me like that now. So why come around me like that 
if something bad was to happen to me. Like, that don't make any sense to me. Now, that's not me saying that I don't love my family because I love my family. And a lot of people wouldn't even think, they wouldn't even imagine that I have a big family. I have, my family is huge. My family is huge. But if you are, you've been around me for, for a long time, you wouldn't even know. You would think that my family is very small and I don't really don't have nobody around. Nobody fight for me. So I don't fight for nobody. My grandmother, she fought for me. She, she made sure that I knew how much she loved me every day. I would never ever forget my grandmother. Ever. She will, she, she's a part of me. She's a part of my soul. If nobody ain't loved me, I know she did. And just like being in a house and really like I'm not working now. Just being in a house and just sitting there and just having peace. It's not, it's not like a depression thing, but it's more like I got time to like like think and realize how my life been going. It's been almost 20 years and I've been around my husband family more than I've been around my family. And it's not that we go visit them more. No, it's that they make it their business to be a part of us. It's not like we want to chase them. They just make it their business to be a part of us. And I don't know. I've just been thinking. Like, I've been thinking. I just... Don't don't love me hard when I'm gone. If you didn't love me hard when I was here, don't love me hard when I'm gone. Don't RIP the death out of my dog on social media. Don't put on your social media pictures of me saying how much you love me and how much you miss me. Because if you can't call me or talk to me or be around me and tell me how much you love me and how, you miss, me, how much you miss me when I'm alive, I don't want to hear it when I'm dead. That's just how it is. This is nothing to do with a live video. I just need the vent. And I know my lock family, y'all always there for me. When I call people, that's why I don't call people like that. Because when I call people, it, I always feel like they trying to rush. Like, okay, I got to do. Like, okay, you don't want to be a part of my life. I get it. But don't wait until I'm dead and gone and try to RIP me. Or I love you. Or boohoo cry at my funeral. Celebrate me when I'm still alive. Celebrate me when I can see you celebrate me. Let's celebrate each other. Sometimes when I see my family, my heart just hurt. It's more pain than anything. Because I don't even know my family like that no more. They're different. Everybody's different. I'm different. I think I'm supposed to be here for me and my kids. Because sometimes I'll be thinking about, okay, what was the purpose of me being here? What was the purpose? What is my life purpose? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll be thinking like, when people look at me, do they look at me as somebody that they love? Or like a mistake? Oh, oh boy, here she go. You really never know what's in somebody's head. All I know, out of the 40 years of being on this earth, I have to, I have to be in competition with one person, and that's me. I have to wake up every day trying to be a better, better than what I was yesterday. Being a better mother, a better wife, a better individual, a better friend. Because I've tried it over and over and over and over again. To be a better niece, a better mother, a better cousin, a better sister. I'm just one of those needles that you're not going to find in a haystack. Probably not even looking for me. And that's not even a, to make it seem like, oh, poor Marlena. I'm just coming on here and just expressing how I feel. These antennas, that's why I said I'm going under with it. The more my hair mature, the more I mature. These antennas mean so much to me. There's so much stuff that's inside of me, people wouldn't even imagine. And I need to let it out. I'm going to write me a book one day. Even if I don't publish it, just to get it on paper. I don't have a terrible life at all. I am loved. But I know how my grandmother was with us when I was little and before I, before she passed away and how my family is now. It's nothing the way that she raised us. It's nothing the way how she taught us how to love each other. It's nothing like that. Everybody got their own situation in their houses and they got a piece of grandma with them. But when grandma was alive, my grandmother was alive. We came together as one. Totally different households. We came together as one to make sure that we stayed together as a unit. And I got memories. Then I see my husband family and it reminds me that it's still families out there like that. I'm grateful for what I had though. If y'all like videos like this, just let me know. I keep going. Even when I start working every day again. I know I just ramble, but. And I know I'm loved. But this is the way to express myself and how I feel. I know it probably don't even make sense to other people, but. It makes sense to me. All right. Bye.